Uh, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to calculate uh, the profit maximization output uh, for a firm which is operating in an imperfect market. So there are a um, number of firm categories that operate in an imperfect ma market, firms like uh, Monopoly. They are actually operate in an imperfect market. So um, I'm, going to uh, I'm going to demonstrate how we are going to calculate the profit maximize, uh, maximization output um, when we are given the demand curve and also the paper cost function. So basically, I have got two functions. The demand curve, which is uh, presented as P is equal to um, 120 minus 0.5Q. And then I have the total cost function, uh, TC, which is 420 plus uh, Q um, plus Q squared. So first things first, um, we need to understand to say profit is maximized. Profit is maximized. Profit is maximized. Where marginal revenue equals to marginal cost. So uh, for me to find uh, the marginal revenue and the marginal cost, I need to have um, um, a total revenue function, okay, for me to find the marginal revenue. And for me to find the marginal cost, I need to have the total cost function. And the total cost function have already been given. What I don't have is um, the total revenue. What I have is only the price. But from the price, I'm capable of calculating the total revenue. So uh, to demonstrate what will be happening here, um, once I find the total revenue, I'll need to derive it um, using basic calculus for me to find the marginal revenue. In the same manner for me to find the marginal cost, I need to derive this total cost. Now, when we talk about uh, calculus, People start thinking maybe we're discussing deep calculus. Uh, it's basically a uh, simple calculus. I'll demonstrate, for example, if I have something like this, and then I'm told to say, can you derive it? All I'm supposed to do is to get the index, um, multiply it with um, the number in front here. So I'll say uh, 3 multiplied by 4. That gives me 12. And then the same number, I need to remove one from it so it will be three minus one okay which will give me two so the derivative of four uh, x cubed is basically uh, twelve x squared i just multiply this multiply by that and then there are other rules that i'll discuss what for instance we had uh, something like that how am i going to um derive it Okay, if I had something like this, this simply means that this is reached to power 1, um, but we don't indicate. So it will be this plus uh, this multiplied by that, that will give me 4. And then I'll say 1 minus 1, it will give me 0. Anything reached to power 0 is equal to 1. Even if it's a 1,000, 2,000, whatever the number is, as long as it's reached to power 0, it will be equal to 1. So this x here, as you can see, is reached to power 0. So this will become 1. So 4 multiplied by 1 will remain to be 4. Um, others like to put it in a simple way to say uh, when we are derivating something which has a, which is raised to power 1, um, that particular number just collapses or that particular variable just collapses. So others just say uh, x will collapse, will simply remain with uh, 4. Alright. I wanted to discuss that before I can go uh, deep into my computation here because that's where everything is uh, bothered from. Okay, so now um, I need the total revenue. Total revenue is given by price multiplied by quantity. Total revenue is basically how much we are selling something multiplied by the number of units that we are selling. All right, so in this case, total revenue will be equal to price. Price we already have there. The demand function is expressed in price. The MP is equal to 120. So this is uh, 120 minus uh, 0 0.5 Q. Okay, that's just price. And then multiply by quantity, which is there. 
Then my total resident function will basically be this multiplied by that Q multiplied by 120, 120 Q. And then 0 0.5 Q multiplied by Q will be 0 0.5 Q squared. So I have something looking like that. And then I need to derive it to find um, the marginal revenue. Remember what I said? If uh, we are attempting to find the marginal revenue, we basically need to derive the total revenue function. So I'm derivating the total revenue function. Um, this is raised to power one. Uh, so 120 multiplied by one will be 120. And then uh, one minus one here will be zero. Remember what I said? Uh, anything raised to power zero becomes one or it collapses. So the Q will collapse at this point. All right? And then um, I have that. Um, 2 multiplied by 0 0.5, that's 1. So we have 1 Q, but we don't write 1 Q, we just write Q. And then uh, 2 minus 1, uh, that's 1. So it's supposed to be raised to the power 1 here. But we don't indicate raised to the power 1, just leave it like that. So this is the marginal revenue. Uh, with this in mind now, I can calculate the total, total revenue. Total revenue. Uh, total revenue is, sorry. Uh, total cost, I want to find the marginal cost now. Total cost is uh, 420 uh, plus uh, CQ plus Q squared. There. So, derivating this, I only go where there is Q, there is no Q here, so I'm not interested. So, um, marginal cost will be there is no Q here, I'm not interested. There is a Q here, I'm interested. This is one. 1 multiplied by 60, uh, that will be 60, and then 1 minus 1, that will be 0. Anything raised to the power 0 becomes a 1. So the Q has stand in Q1. 1 multiplied by 60, that will be 60 again. And then here in front, it's like we have 1 Q squared. So when we say 2 multiplied by the 1 in front here, that will be 2. And then I write Q here, and then 2 minus Q, that will be 1. Uh, 2 minus Q, uh, no, so 2 minus, 2 minus 1, that will be 1, um, that will be 1, so I'm not going to write 1 here, um, I'll just leave it like that, because anything written like that, it simply indicates that it's raised the power 1, so now I have the marginal cost and I have the marginal revenue, therefore I can find the profit maximizing output by simply saying marginal revenue should equal to marginal cost okay so marginal revenue here is 120 minus q is equal to marginal cost which is 60 uh, 60 plus 2q all right so now uh like things let me move the q's this side i have negative q it doesn't move from anywhere it's to this side then i'm moving this q to come this side it crosses the side and becomes negative so i have negative 2q is equal to 60. The 120 this side will go that side, it will be negative 120. And then here alone, I have negative. This is one negative 1q one um, minus uh, 2q. So it will give me negative 3q. Um, yes, because there is a 1 in front there, which are, you are basically not seeing. And then 60 minus 120, that will give me negative uh, 60. And then negative 3 this side, I'm solving for q, negative 3 this side. And then I'll say therefore Q is equal to uh, 20 uh, units. That's how things look like. So this is the profit maximizing output. Okay, this is the profit maximizing output. And then I can find what the price is at this profit level. The price is uh, 120 minus uh, 0 0.5 Q. Where there is Q, I shall place uh, 20. 0 0.5 and then I'll press 20 here. 20 multiplied by 0 0.5, that's 10. So P is equal to 120 minus uh, 10 and then P is equal to uh, 110. All right? So that's my, that's my price. Okay. So now, um, I found the profit maximizing output and I've also found um the price at that output level now here i can also um 
demonstrate uh, what the profit figure would be. Uh, what would be the profit figure? The profit figure is basically uh, profit denoted as pi. Profit is usually total revenue minus total cost. All right. So I have my total revenue function here. My total revenue function is 120. Where the skew I'm replacing with um, 20. And minus 0 0.5. Where the skew there I'm replacing with 20, 20 squared. So this is my total revenue. And then total revenue here. And then my total cost. My total cost is basically this 420 plus 60 where the SQ I'm putting 20 there. The 20 is coming from there. Plus Q squared, which is 20 squared. All right, so let me process the math here and see. Uh, already um, 20 squared, that's uh, 400. 400 multiplied by 0 0.5, that is uh, 200. So I uh, have a 200 this side. Okay. And then uh, 120 multiplied by 20, that is 24. I have a 24 this side. So 24 minus 200, that's 22. That is my total revenue. Uh, let me process uh, the total cost. So I can simply say 420 plus open brackets. CGST multiplied by 20, close bracket plus 20 squared. I'm getting 2020. That's my total cost. So I can, I can say total revenue minus total cost. It's giving me what we are calling as the profit figure. Okay, so uh, on to there. Uh, Two 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 thousand two hundred minus twenty twenty. I have one eighty here, so my profit is uh, one eighty there. Okay. Now there are instances when the examiner is not asking for the profit uh, maximizing output, but basically the examiner is asking you to compute revenue maximization. Revenue maximization has got its own setting. You remember. Profit maximization, the setting is marginal revenue should equal to marginal cost. But as of revenue maximization, revenue maximization, revenue maximization, um, revenue maximization, the setting is marginal revenue should equal to zero. That's it. Marginal revenue should equal to zero. So uh, let me get the marginal revenue. Do I still have it? Oh, I deleted it, but I can still find since my total revenue function is here. My total revenue function is 120Q minus 0.5Q squared. All right, so I can I can find the marginal revenue here. Uh, this raised to the power 1, this multiplied by that, 120, 1 minus 1, 0, the Q collapses. And then I have uh, 2 multiplied by 0 0.5, which is 1. Um, yeah, which is one, okay? And then uh, I'll write Q here, two minus the two minus one, that is one, so one Q here. But we don't indicate one Q, Q over, uh, Q raised to power one, we don't indicate like this, we'll simply say negative Q, all right? Uh, so that's uh, my marginal revenue, and then my marginal revenue has to equal to zero for me to reach uh, at the point where we are doing a uh, revenue maximization so uh, 120 uh, negative q is equal to zero so um i'll push the 120 this side i'll remain with negative q it will be negative 120 there negative cancel there i'm canceling the negatives by simply dividing by negative one okay so q is equal to uh 120. this is um this is a revenue maximization output. And um, from here, I can still find the price which uh, maximizes revenue. 
Remember, I'm not talking about profit maximization, I'm talking about revenue maximization. These are two different things. Okay, so 0 0.5, uh, Q here, um, 120, 0 0.5, then 120, where there's the Q there. So 120 minus 60, that, uh, that will be 60. So my price at, um, my price at, um, Revenue maximization output will basically be uh, 60. Thank you so much. Uh, in my next uh, tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to minimize the total cost uh, function.